In the diagram below, secants RST and RQP drawn from point R intersect circle O at S, T, Q, and P. Okay, so that description is already drawn and labeled in the diagram below. Uh, if RS is equal to 6, so RS meaning the segment uh, is 6, ST is 4, RP is 15, RP, this, so this entire length is 15, what is the length of RQ? RQ. So we're looking for this guy right here. So uh, there is a circle theorem uh, that you need to know in order to answer this question. And that is if you have a circle where you have two secants and they meet outside of the circle somewhere, the segment, so let's call um, the secant, the one above here, I'm going to call this secant A, and the segment of secant A is A1, and, this, and the segment that's outside of the circle there, I want to label as A2. And then the, uh, the secant underneath, I'm going to call that secant B, I'm going to call that length B1, and I'm going to call the segment that's outside B2. As it turns out, the, uh, this can be proven through a little bit of um, geometry, through a little bit of uh, analysis involving similar triangles, that the following proportion uh, is true, or the following equation is true. That if I take A1 times A2, it will equal to B1 times B2. So in other words, the length of the secant multiplied by the segment that's outside will equal to the product of the intersecting secant, the length of the intersecting secant, multiplied by its por uh, portion uh, outside of the circle. So knowing this fact now, we can then set up this, uh, a very similar equation. I can then say x, which is the length of RQ, right? So x times the full length of the secant that contains RQ, that's PR. So I'm going to multiply that by 15 is equal to RS, that's a segment outside of the um, outside of the secant, outside of the circle. So that's 6, multiplied by the full length of the secant, and that would be a length of 10. 10 because 6 plus 4. And now I have enough information to solve for x. I'm going to divide, uh, multiply by 6, so I get 60. So x times 15 is equal to 60. Divide both sides by 15. 60 over 15, well, that's just 4. So RQ, therefore, will have a length of 4 units.